Perfect. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a high intensity workout today, putting this new sports bra that I got from Sculptress to the test because I know all my busty girls out there, we don't like doing high intensity type of workouts. We tend to, you know, <laughs> do lighter workouts because all this is just, it's a no. So we're going to go ahead and put this sports bra to the test. I'm pretty excited to show you guys the workouts that have been helping me get my body right, get my body tight, and hopefully this sports bra holds my girls together so it doesn't distract me at all towards my workout. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, I had so much fun filming this video. Before we get started, be sure you are subscribed to my channel. We post new videos here every week, so make sure you go ahead and do that. Now starting right into the video, this gym was so beautiful, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys exactly what I do during my workouts um, that kind of hold me back when I don't have the right bra on. And I know that probably sounds like an ad, but I'm telling you, your girl has been wearing two sports sports bras at a time since high school. So today we're going to be putting this beautiful sports bra by Sculptress to the test by doing a high intensity interval training session and I'm going to show you guys my favorite exercises. Starting off, I'm going to be showing you guys one of my favorite exercises. I just love, love, love jump squats. It really kicks your ass in a short amount of time. So I typically do about five sets of 10 just to get everything going. And I take a short rest in between each um, set as well. The ultimate test, you guys, I had to do it. I tried the jump rope and <laughs> hey, it held everything together, girl. I was so excited. Now, another test I wanted to put this bra through is mountain climbers because typically when I do it, the boobies start swinging like pendulums. So <laughs> we went ahead and did mountain climbers and again, flawless. It, it's almost like I forget I have big boobs when I was working out, I'm telling y'all. And then also we went ahead and did some jump ups. I would call these box jumps, but this little thing I was jumping on was not really tall enough to call it a box jump. So I'm just going to call it jump ups. Um, but you can totally do this like at home, on um, at the park, at a bench, like anything. All these exercises I want to show you guys where you can do it in the comfort of your own home as well. So don't be thinking you can't do this just because I'm in a fancy old gym, you know, um, you could totally do these at home. Now, we also did some toe taps that day. These I typically do for 45 seconds and I repeat it for three times. Um, it really gets your heart rate going. Like I said, in between each of these exercises, make sure you're taking a rest enough to bring your heart rate down almost to like that resting rate because the whole point of a high intensity workout is to bring your heart rate up really high and then bring it back down just to kind of keep your body guessing so right here this is what we're doing we're taking a little break Brennan's doing some push-ups in the back staying hydrated we're drinking water so just don't forget those type of things now, I'm not exactly sure what these are called, but I call them leapfrogs, and these are basically, I would say, modified burpees. You're doing more of a forward jump down to that position, and you're not putting your chest all the way on the floor, but um, these are one of my favorites as well. As you can tell, I love jumping around. I love switching up my exercises. So if you hate running on a treadmill like I do, definitely give those a try. <laughs> Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and do these kettlebell, I wouldn't call them kettlebell swings, they're more of like a lift to a press. So you're gonna definitely feel it in your shoulders and your arms. I typically do 10 reps on each arm for a total of 40. So take it at your own pace, don't do what I have to do, like <laughs> just start easy if you don't have a kettlebell at home my tip for you is grab a gallon water jug and use that girl
And here's Brendan going ahead and showing off doing some pull-ups. Also, be sure to click that bell. Don't miss any type of videos that we upload because we be killing it. Look at him acting all humble. <laughs> now for my final exercise I want to show you is going to really work the arms, the shoulders, the back, everything. It's going to burn that fat and it is rope pulls. I typically do it for about 30 seconds um, and take a short rest and then repeat it three times total. You will definitely feel this, girl, I'm not even playing, it is not an exercise to play with. <laughs> but anyway, that's it for this video. I would say that this bra passed the test with flying colors because, y'all, I didn't have any issues. If you like this video, be sure to leave me a thumbs up and I'll see y'all in the next one.